Cancers, welcome back to my channel. Let's take a look at what the next 72 hours has in store for you. Of course, if at any point you do want to see future readings from me, definitely make sure that you subscribe so you never miss a beat for one. <laughs> and also make sure you guys hit the like button so that for one, the videos can show up in your algorithm and it lets other people who may need to see this video see it and also gives me feedback. So if you want to support the channel, definitely hit the like button. But let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to start with my holographic tarot deck here. Then we're going to go into the oracle card. So oop, I kicked you guys. Let's try to fix that. All right, let's get into it. Cancers. What does the next 72 hours have in store? Cancers. So the theme, we have the three of wands. The advice, we have the page of cups. your love life we have the two of pentacles okay career we have ace of cups what needs your focus we have the two swords let's move that right here and our last card is going to represent what's manifesting and we have the hangman. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull some oracle cards and get straight into it. Cancers, the next 72 hours, overall energy. So we have full moon. And we also have shadow. Alrighty, so let's talk about it, Cancers. So right off the bat, this is a purging time frame, okay? Coming into the beginning of May, Cancers, you guys are ready to release anything that is a energetic hindrance, literally. Uh, you could also find yourself releasing a lot of pent up emotions, feelings. You could be finally speaking your mind during this time frame or feeling triggered to speak your mind or even having someone else around you kind of display this energy of, you know, expressing how they feel or being just more emotionally vulnerable. For a lot of you too, this is a very creative time as well. You could be releasing some sort of new business you could be finding yourself wanting to finally release that um, idea that you've been holding on to for a while or that new service if you're a business owner. Okay, this may be the perfect time for you guys to release whatever you've been working on. But for a lot of you, this feels more so like an internal release, a healing release. And this could be due to also the eclipse that we're about to have pretty soon so that that and i believe that's in scorpio and it's an eclipse of releasing as well so it's like a, a interesting um <laughs> eclipse that's about to come up but anywho a lot of stuff that's residing within your shadow self is going to be coming up during this time frame and you're going to be addressing those parts of yourself that again, lie within your shadow self and that have been a hindrance of anything. Now, let's get deeper into this. The first card is going to represent the theme for the next 72 hours or so. So with the three of wands, this is you guys seeing the bigger picture. Whenever I look at the three of wands as well, this is the energy of turning your back on certain things. So you could be realizing that you do have to turn your back on maybe a job that's not providing you with enough security and stability and in you turning your back from this is now you looking at the bigger picture trying to see what actions to take next um waiting for certain opportunities to manifest this is the energy i'm getting and if it's not career this could be a relationship where you realize you have to turn your back on this situation and 
what's truly meant for you, what's truly in alignment with you will come. Now, getting into the next card, representing the advice for you, I do have the Page of Cups. So this is exploring what else is out there, especially when it comes to your creativity. For a lot of my Cancers who are watching this, you could be someone who's gifted at reading tarot, uh, gifted at singing, gifted at certain things that you haven't been either exploring or allowing yourself to really tap into. This is getting in tune with your inner child, basically over the next 72 hours to help you not only feel grounded emotionally, but especially for my cancers or business owners, it's gonna help you advance in your business or take your business to the, ne to the next level with you being creative or tapped into your creativity. This is just overall also just being open to exploring what else is out there for you, especially in the means of love, career, and also being careful of how your emotions impact your decisions during this time frame and the way you communicate. Now, when it comes to love let's go ahead and talk about that we do have the two of pentacles here representing this energy so for my singles you could have two options where you're dating two individuals and you're having to decide who is more capable of giving you a stable relationship you could have a particular person that you're interested in where you're having to decide if this person is even worth the investment especially if they have shown you maybe inconsistencies or there's been ups and downs between you two up until this point. There's going to be this decision-making process happening around your love life for the next 72 hours. And for my singles, you could just be in debate of whether or not you're ready for a relationship. You could have moments where you're open to and then other moments where you're like closed off. But yeah, in the realm of love, it's either a decision is going to be made or you could be trying to balance out some sort of imbalanced relationship or love life as a whole. Now with career, I have the Ace of Cups and you could have a very specific desire to work at a particular job or in a particular industry or in a particular position. But your desire for more money, especially knowing what it could get you in terms of like more stability or you being able to fulfill your wishes to move here or to do this or to do that. This could be the fuel for you guys to get started or go after some sort of new opportunity. Something here is going to make you pretty happy as well. If you've been applying for jobs, if you've been looking for another stream of income, you could find it in this time frame. So look out for that. There could also be a, <laughs> there could be someone who you work with who's interested in you romantically and they could take some initiative to express that to you. So that may catch you off guard as well. Now, what needs your focus, Cancers, with the Two of Swords? This is your mental health. Where are you having the answers, having the understanding necessary to make your decision, but choosing not to because you feel like you're in the blind or even wanting to refuse to see the truth of your situation. So what needs your focus is your mental health, getting mental clarity as a whole. Mm. Also, where there may be these like verbal disagreements, like you and a roommate arguing and not seeing eye to eye, you and a family member, you and a, a, a boss or a coworker, getting to a point of resolve with any communication that's just kind of squared off because there's different perspectives that you and someone could have and not, you know, for some reason you guys could not be coming to a point of agreement. So that may be needing your attention. But what's manifesting during this time frame with the hangman, this is a change in perspective. That's what's manifesting. And also a breakthrough beyond certain challenges or delays you've been experiencing. If you've been experiencing delay after delay after delay after delay, you can start to realize it has a lot to do with you, for one, 
feeling victimized by your circumstances or having a limited perspective as a whole that's stopping you from growing. So what's manifesting is a change of mind, a change in perspective, a change in energy, especially if there's been energetic blockages. Okay, and this almost feels like a connected card to the full moon energy I was picking up here as well. It just feels like there's this releasing and making way for new. So beautiful energy. I hope that this reading was helpful and that you took something from it. If you did, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.